Hey everybody and welcome to Database Camp. My name is Sarah and in today's video I'm going to try to convince you all to read this book, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. So if you haven't heard of it, or you have heard of it, but you haven't read it, then please keep on watching because I'm going to try to make some points without spoiling this book for you on why it needs to be read. So just as a quick disclaimer, I feel like this type of book, although if you can read it, read it, I just feel like if you're over the ages of 25 years old, it's going to hit a little bit different. I read this book when I was a freshman in high school. And let me tell you, I didn't really have that much life experience under my belt, but I had older people around me and I guess you could kind of get a sense of their struggles and the type of struggles that you would go through in your own life as you got older. And so I was still able to appreciate the book, but I just feel like if you've lived a life um, at least a quarter of a century long, this book will definitely hit you different. So I, I, I'd say it's best suited for people in their like mid to later 20s and up, um, but anybody can really read this book. One of the main things that makes this book really special is the protagonist. The protagonist is super relatable. He is the epitome of a flawed person and we love him because he knows he's flawed and he tries to do good by people who have done absolutely everything for him. But we follow this main character Pip, his name is Pip, Pip Philip Pirrip, but they call him Pip. Um, we follow him throughout his formidable years. We see him first when he's like about seven years old and the book kind of ends when he's like around his later 30s maybe I would I would say so and um, so we follow him throughout his life he's got this really humble beginning and um, he doesn't really know his place in the world right I mean everything's perfect in his eyes because he doesn't know any better and that bubble bursts <laughs> somewhere along the lines I don't want to ruin anything but that bubble does burst and he realizes that his station in life is not a really high one and he aspires to become something more than what he currently is and it's not really for all the right reasons this whole book illustrates the human experience because we are so convinced that our world is one way and then we find out something and it completely shakes everything that we once believed in and it, and it disturbs us sometimes, it shocks us. This book shows us how not everything that we planned comes to fruition. And even if we meet our goals, they're not exactly on our terms. Another thing that we see in this book is how people start to question their own decisions and what circumstances led to them leading the life and going through the path that they now do and that they now walk. We see the characters reflecting, certain characters reflecting on, well, how would my life have been if things were different? And it's something that, like I said, it it is so relatable to everybody. We all have these shocking moments that happen sometimes and that put things into perspective, whether that be for the negative or the positive. It's one of those books that illustrates the human condition perfectly um, which is why I love it so much there are so many things that Dickens does that keep the reader on their toes that keep the reader guessing 
Now, I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression in thinking that this is like a sob story because it's not meant to be a sob story. It's really just meant to be a window into the life of every man, woman out there who has goals and aspirations and great expectations about how their life is going to look like in the future and just coming into that almost soul-crushing realization of what life really is like and that all these great expectations are just that they're great expectations they're not definitives they're not concrete uh, life doesn't promise you everything that you've ever wanted that crushing artfully done in this book that crushing realization that things just don't go as we expect all the time that things you know circumstances change that things go horribly wrong <laughs> you know it's a book that's really supposed to make you feel better about your own circumstances because most people don't come from a place of privilege and another disclaimer is if you do come from a place of privilege you're probably not going to like this book you may not even really find it relatable because this book is meant for the every man the every woman it's one of those things that just artfully illustrates how unfair life can be or how just it can be because you know there are good things that happen and bad things that happen and it's complete poetic justice if poetic justice was a book it would be great expectations it's such a wonderful book I can't express enough how important this book is to me because um, I'm not I'm not you know I'm not a super old person or anything you know I've definitely lived I've definitely had my fair share of uh, negative experiences and positive experiences and that's why I feel like you definitely have to have lived some some years enough and definitely have to have existed for some years on this earth for this book to hit the way it's meant to hit um, but I hope that you guys will take a crack at this book um, I hope you'll give it a shot Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, if you did, make sure to give it a like. Make sure to comment down below if you have read Great Expectations and how you felt about it, even if you had opposing views to mine or um, different insights that you would like to share. I would love to hear about them in the comments because I have no one else to talk to about books um, so make sure to comment down below and uh, also let me know if you are going to read this book and when you do finish it come back and comment how you felt about it if you did like it if you didn't like it I I would love to know so um, thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel because I would really appreciate it and I'll be seeing you guys again very soon Goodbye.